एक्सलेंसीज ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स नमस्कार आयु भवन वणक्कम फ्रेंड्स इट इज माय प्रिविलेज टू जॉइन यू ऑन दिस इम्पोर्टेंट ओकेजन वी आर एम्बार्किंग on a new chapter in the diplomatic and economic relations between india and sri lanka the launch of a ferry service between nagapattanam and kankes santurai is an important milestone in strengthening our relations friends india and sri lanka share a deep history of culture commerce and civilization nagapattanam and towns nearby have long been known for sea trade with many countries including sri lanka the historical port of pumpohar has been mentioned as a hub in ancient tamil literature sangam age literature लाइक पट्टीना पालई एंड मणि मेकलई स्पीक्स अबाउट बोट्स एंड शिप्स मूविंग बिटवीन इंडिया एंड श्रीलंका ग्रेट पोएट सुरमबन्य भारती इन इज सॉन्ग Sindhu Nadiyan Misai had spoken of a bridge connecting our two countries this ferry service brings alive all those historical and cultural connection friends during the recent visit of president vikram singh we jointly adopted a vision document for our economic partnership connectivity is the central theme of this partnership connectivity is not only about bringing two cities closer it also brings our countries closer our people closer and our hearts closer connectivity enhances trade tourism and people to people ties it also creates opportunities for the youth of both countries friend following my visit to sri lanka in 2015 we witness the launch of direct flight between delhi and colombo later we celebrated the landing of the first international flight in the pilgrim town of kushinagar from sri lanka the direct flight between chennai and jaffna began in 2019 now the ferry service between nagapattanam and kankesanturai is yet another important step in this direction friends our vision for connectivity goes beyond the transport sector india and sri lanka collaborate 
closely in the wide range of areas such as fintech and energy. Digital payments have become a mass movement and a way of life in India due to UPI. We are working on fintech sector connectivity by linking UPI and Lanka Pay. Energy security is crucial for our countries to power our development journey. We are connecting our energy grids to enhance energy security and reliability. Friends, partnership for progress and development is one of the strongest pillars of our bilateral relationship. Our vision is to take development to everyone leaving none behind. In line with this vision, projects implemented with Indian assistance in Sri Lanka have touched the lives of the people. Several projects related to housing, water, health, and livelihood support have been completed in the northern province. I am glad that we extended support for the upgradation of the Kanke Santurai Harbor, be it restoration of railway lines connecting north to south, construction of the iconic Jaffna Culture Center, roll out of emergency ambulance service all across Sri Lanka, or the multi-speciality hospital at Dikoya. We are working with a vision of Sapka Saath, Sapka Vikas, Sapka Viswas, and Sapka Prayas. Friends, you all know that India recently hosted the G20 summit. Our vision of Vasudhev Kutumkam has been welcomed by the international community. Part of this vision is putting our neighborhood first, sharing progress and prosperity. During the G20 summit, the India Middle East Europe Economic Corridor was launched. This is an important connectivity corridor that will create a massive economic impact on the whole region. The people of Sri Lanka will also benefit from it as we strengthen multimodal connectivity between our two countries. I thank the President, the government, and the people of Sri Lanka for the successful launch of the ferry service today. With the beginning today, we will also work towards resuming the ferry service between Rameshwaram and Talai Mannar. Friends, India remains committed to working closely with Sri Lanka to further strengthen our bilateral ties for the mutual benefit of our people. Thank you.